Daneric Price. Uh, Daneric Prince, the transfer from Texas A&M. Shamari Brooks hoping to become the all-time leading rusher in Tulsa history this season. On first down, the handoff to Elon Stokes. And down in 16, Cameron Murray ran off the field defensive lineman for Oklahoma State under his own power. Smith on target to the 41-yard line, caught by Josh Johnson. With a torn ACL, had surgery. They're happy he's playing without a knee brace. They took it off at the beginning of the month. Sanders throws on the run. It's caught for a first down by Logan Carter. Nice job of faking the wide receiver screen to Wallace. Sanders in trouble, and he spun down for a sack. Back at the 42-yard line by Zaven Collins. Collins, they're going to move him around a lot this year, too. I mean, they want to utilize his speed and athleticism. Bad job of Chuba Hubbard in pass protection. Honestly, I don't understand why they're, they both would be dead ball fouls. And now in the open field, it's L.D. Brown will be Chuba Hubbard's main backup this season. Eight minutes gone by, first quarter, Spencer Sanders. Slides down, takes the loss. Good coverage down the field. He wanted to throw the ball quick. It wasn't there. Got forced out of the pot. 27-yard field goal try from their new field goal kicker, Alex Hale. Third down and nine. A minute and a half to go in the first quarter. Bullock wrestled down from behind by Anthony Goodlow. Joe Gillespie said we need him to come on this year. We need him to step up, and he did step up. He beat the right tackle and the right guard. Wallace doesn't have a catch yet. Play fake on third down and two. Bullock not very mobile, and it's the blitzing Zaven Collins for a sack, and it'll force fourth down. Watch this. He just times it perfectly. He waits one beat and then goes right between the guard and the tackle, and they were late in reacting. That's good speed, but more than anything, just the timing of the blitz, waiting that half a beat before he got to the backfield. Smith hasn't been particularly accurate. There's Prince turning the corner, and it's a first down to midfield. Well, they were back at first down and 20, and they managed to move those change. Another tackle by Tanner McAllister. With 4-10 left in the first half. There's Lachlan Wilson again. End over end punt. Some room for Dylan Stoner on the catch and some room along the near sideline. Out of bounds near midfield. Corey Taylor is in there at running back now. Second returning leading rusher and they won't have Brooks this year. Deep throw by Smith. On target to Keelan Stokes. And finally a big gainer. Damon Ogbon Bamiga. Watch McAllister bite on the out fake, and there's the separation. They've had no separation. Keevan Lucas, one of the all-time great receivers at Tulsa. Play fake to Taylor. He stayed in the block. To the end zone, caught for a touchdown. Josh Johnson gives Tulsa the lead. This is an NFL throw right here. Below it, and this is good coverage. I mean, he is not wide open, but the throw is perfect over. It was not Sterling. It was Kobe Harvell Peel, the safety that was in coverage, and the throw over his outstretched arm. One foot's all you need down. A perfect throw. Far cry from last year when he ran all over the field in Tulsa in the first half. Ethan Bullock, the backup quarterback, only arrived in the spring out of junior college, and he runs out of bounds with a three-yard loss. Playing without Spencer Sanders, their starting quarterback, who left after a turnover and a missed handoff. Apparent leg injury, and Bullock, his stand-in, goes down. Cullen Wick, who they expect to replace the now Chicago Bear, Travis Gibson, with the sack. Against five defenders. There's only three guys rushing the quarterback. Three versus five, the offensive line should win. And it doesn't. And Cullen Wick is the only guy that drew the single coverage. Good time given to him by this offensive line. Finally a hole for the running game, and L.D. Brown almost took it all the way. He got chopped down by Tyon Davis. 
Well, it's a stretch play. He's going to start this way, but watch him cut it back inside. When he sees a crease, that's what you want that back to do. Picks up a nice block by Logan Carter, the tight end, number 87 on the backside. And that play can break in a lot of different spots. Good read by L.D. Brown off the black block of his backside tight end. Particularly warm for this time of the year in Stillwater and not very humid either. Bullock throws into traffic and intercepted by Allie Green, who stepped in front of Tylen Wallace. Time they come away with the pick. Hey, I, I said it earlier. It's kind of like the, the Legion of Boom, right? Six foot three corners like Allie Green. He's been pressing all day long. And by being penalized nine times with more than a quarter to go. They're trying to do it. They blitz him, and that pass is incomplete. Intended for Cannon Montgomery, the son of head coach Philip Montgomery. For three, Bullock off to the sideline. It's Shane Illingworth. True freshman from Norco, California. Going deep and up for grabs. Some bumping, and Wallace wins that battle with Allie Green. So that's starting to become a regular one-on-one -on -one matchup. Too good to not give him chances. Yes, Allie Green had the interception. Got the better of it the last time. But you got to keep giving number two chances. He's throwing it for single coverage. Wallace was out of bounds, came back in, makes the catch, and is down at the three-yard line. Stopped the Press. play for the moment. See, he's forced out of bounds. He's pushed out of bounds by Allie Green, who then stumbles so he can come back in. And Illingworth, three for three for 73 yards. That's more passing yards combined than the starters Sanders and Bullock combined. And it's Chuba Hubbard into the end zone for the first Oklahoma State touchdown of the season and their first lead since they fell behind 7-3. to Lead big enough, unfortunately, for we green teamers in the first two games of that series for Boston. Zach Smith over the middle into traffic and a catch. Nicely done by Josh Johnson who scored their touchdown. Saw one offensive lineman go out, replaced by a backup. But look at this protection. Nice job also by T.K. Wilkerson, the back. Been hard to hear all day. I haven't heard a whistle all day. Great timing. And a beautiful throw by Smith. Lobbed it in there for Josh Johnson. On first and 20, a screen. Well set up. To Eric Prince, nice footwork. Did not stay in bounds for that extra four or five, but a good gainer. Their number two has played sparingly. High snap, big face hole, and a big face mask. And Prince fights his way through it all the way to the eight yard line. Devin Harper ripped him around, and they'll tack more onto the end of that play. Two freshman right out of high school in Little Elm, Texas, Tyler Tipton. And he hooked. Third down and 10. And it is Hubbard again. And he has the first down, and he almost broke it. Got taken down at the 40. The ball's out, but he was already ruled down. A couple missed tackles, a couple nice cuts in the hole by Chuba Hubbard. He took a toll on him in the preseason. Walked on at Oklahoma State. Here's Brown again. Doesn't go to the end zone, but he picks up that first down. There's plenty of leg, and that one is good. Now they only had one full scrimmage. Look out, Smith sacked. Not a safety. They're going to mark it on the two, but it was Malcolm Rodriguez. Little mix up, little mix up in the offensive line because it wasn't a full pressure. But nobody there. Good execution with this field goal operation. Alex Hale has had a good day as their new starting field goal kicker. And that should finally put it in the win column for Oklahoma State. And they go on the road to Arkansas State next week. And that will not be an easy game either. Again, we need to cut them some slack too because uh, about as much as any other team in the country, their preseason interrupted by COVID-19. Colby Harvell-Peel with the interception.
It was a struggle throughout. Mike Gundy lost his starting quarterback early. He never really looked in sync. The exception on one drive engineered by Illingworth. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.